Hey guys, it's Nikki here with Lifestyle DIYW and welcome back to my channel. Today is day two of the Make Me Over Itchy Way Edition, but it's the Dollar Tree Fail and Fix Edition. So stay tuned for more. Hey guys, so I'm back and I'm actually coming to you with all of my video because I am going to be working on this side of the wall right now. And I took a little break because first my ankle was hurting. So I was like, let me take a break. So I'm just wanting to hurry up and, you know, move to the next step. And I'm being impatient. So what I'm going to do is I have these two rolls of Dollar Tree vinyl. And we're going to, this is going to act like our fox, fox. Faux. <laughs> Faux. And I'm going to install that right here just to give this space a little bit of texture and to blend in the black, the brown, and the white because I can't really paint my steps. So I'm taking a chance because I painted these. But I wanted to draw in some of that texture and color. And I did want to see, I've really been wanting to use this vinyl from Dollar Tree. So I am going to get started with that. Here is the vinyl that i'm using from a dollar tree it's a dollar so really right there that wall would have been created if i bought regular regular wallpaper it would be more expensive but this is going to be a two dollar project and if i can use all of the wallpaper for one roll in that space it'll only cost a dollar so let's get started so this vinyl already has a backing that's sticky already. And so what you see me doing in this time lapse is putting the corner of the paper directly in the corner of the space. So it would just be an easier way to apply the sticky vinyl backing. Make sure you're smoothing out any air bubbles that are in the vinyl once you apply it. So you do it slowly and you pull down the backing that's behind the paper and you slowly use your hand to smooth it out and guide it down. You can also use a card to flatten it out. Now, this is what it looks like as you adhere the paper to the wall. I actually thought that I liked it. I, I thought that, I don't know. Um, I was definitely going back and forth with if I liked it, if I didn't like it, was it too old? I don't know. So day two planning so, right yeah, before I hit the sack. A lot. <laughs> here's what I and said. And he was like, mommy, I do not like that. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, maybe that's why I'm tossed up. So I wind up taking it down and then I decided to do this little trick. Um, hey guys, yesterday I did a thing, a thing and I took down that thing and now I'm doing another thing. Let's see if that thing works in this space. So let's see. So hey guys, before I show you the thing that I did yesterday and the thing I did the day before, because technically it should have been one day, but it wasn't, you know, life happens. Okay, I still got paint in my hair so crazy but before i show you the thing um actually painted the paint is dry the only thing i need to do is the so the i want you guys to pay close attention this is a video of my screen when i was looking for black and white designs and so of course i wanted to see black and white contact paper because i was using the dollar tree paper the vinyl paper from dollar tree right so i googled black and white contact paper and all these different including the Dollar Tree one on Amazon for like $13, which is crazy. All of those came up in my search on Google. Um, and that's what you can do. You can actually Google prints as you see me scrolling up here of different prints that you like. And once you found a print that you like, whether it's striped, buffalo plaid, dotted, or whatever the case may be, you can actually create your own wallpaper. And so I printed out that modern stripe and 100% of you guys love that modern stripe. So that's why I really went with that. And my son was like, mommy, I like that one better. I printed out a, about 15 sheets out of my regular printer and I added it to the wall. And I added it to my plan because I wanted to see if it really worked. Because, you know, when you have a main vision and you're going for something else, 
as soon as you try something else, it, you don't know if you like it or not, and you're tossed up. I was really tossed up. I really wanted the black and white rose paper from Dollar Tree to work, but it really didn't work in that space, and now I'm okay with it because I found an alternative, a cheaper alternative at that, I think, um, to print this and make a wallpaper decor for that space under my steps. So all I did was press print. Here my printer is. My printer is really not that fast. It is the slowest printer on earth. I printed out about maybe 15 sheets, I think, and put it on the wall, tested it out, and I'm going to adhere it right now so you guys can see it. So all I did was use Mod Podge, my scissors, and a paintbrush. That was it. And I barely used my scissors. Oh, and a flat edge knife so you could cut the edges if you need to. Now, what you're going to do here is you're going to completely cover each space. Now, this was my first time doing this. And maybe this is what they call like decoupaging your wall. I'm not really sure what it's technically called. I'm just doing it my way. And when I saw that most of it worked the first couple of applications, I was floored. I was literally ready to print out as many things as I could. Now, in me first trying this i was just like oh my goodness i i love the way this looks and i'm going to continue with it even if i mess up a little bit so then i did this thing and i like this thing better guys yay my printer and some copy paper for the win I appreciate 100% of you voting for which one you like the best. I loved the stripes. I love the stripes so much more. It's even less color, but it still gives me that black and white effect that I totally was looking for, guys. Look, isn't she lovely? Oh, fox paper. That's my baby. Yes, isn't she pretty? She brings it into like a modern, modern farmhouse and it gives it just a little bit of character. So technically, this is the wall that I'm going to do. I didn't paint this wall. So this is the wall that's going to be covered and I'm going to do that today. So technically today is day two. Um, in video world. So hey guys, I want you to know that it's okay to fail. But it's even better when you can correct that fail and make it into a win. So that's why I really wanted to put this video out. Because I feel like a lot of DIYers are afraid to fail at something. But it's okay. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on this video. And show me your fails and show me how you won over that fail. So make sure you stay tuned for day three. Because day three is coming right up. And that's my gallery wall DIY. So thank you guys so much. Love you. Bye. Okay.